Tespa, we are with Barbara from DAS, who is going to tell us what are the main expectations for DAS at here at Tespa. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for having us. I'm very happy uh, to present the highlights of our 2017 uh, Durst booth at FESPA. And I would first like um, to show you our motto for this year. The motto is Plus is on the Rise, which basically explains um, the additional value that we are incorporating into our machines. We will see more details of that when we are at the machine, but I would also like to highlight that we are on a journey this year. Durst is on a journey this year. We started out um, in Lana, which is a, a remote uh, mountain resort where we invited our top customers um, to discuss future developments with them. The second highlight of this journey is now at FESPA in Hamburg. So tonight we have a big customer event where we will have a host a lot of people to show them the results of this market study. Where is the large format market going? How do customers feel about and uh, just stuff like that. Now the last step on this journey that goes throughout the year and is called top of the mountain is uh, when we introduce the next generation technology um, in Lienz in Austria, uh, which concludes the year. So there's a lot of things that are going on with us at the moment. Um, and we divided the booth basically in two sides. We have the water technology side. Uh, this is the new Rotex uh, 325. Um, this is the latest addition uh, to our Rotex family. Uh, last year at FESPA we introduced the Rotex 5 meter, which uh, was the first 5 meter uh, printer you know, to print uh, seamless at that uh, size, which is very successful in the market. And now we're uh, showcasing uh, the Rotex 325. Basically, it has a dual function. It does direct and transfer printing. We have a, a transfer printing uh, kit as well included. It has a very robust design, which is one of the most important brand values for Durst anyways. So it's also suitable for unattended overnight printing, which we are very proud of. Um, the maximum speed here of this machine is um, up to 390 square meter an hour. Um, and we also have um, a big roll winder for jumbo rolls. These are the key uh, benefits of this nice new piece of equipment. So Barbara, can you tell us which is the key audience that you expect to, you, you hope to, to achieve? We're seeing a significant spike in demand for soft signage applications, which are mostly indoor. So POP, POS, um, you know, in-store applications um, are moving to soft signage because of the odorless quality of the prints and of course the high quality um, is also a big, uh, a big important point. It's the ease of use uh, that the customers really like. It does not take up a lot of volume to ship and it's easy to mount. So the store staff can just put it up by themselves instead of having huge rigid boards to manage. That sounds, that sounds fantastic, Barbara. So apart from this massive uh, digital texture machine, what else have you have here at FESPA? Can you guide us through the stand and show us? Let's walk just around the corner um, and look. Hold on. Yeah. I would like to look at, uh, to show you our um, OWT 250. This is our flatbed Durst water technology printer that we first introduced in 2015. And we have made a lot of progress since. <laughs> so the positioning here is offset quality, uh, profitable with small jobs or one-offs. And that is the machine that we have just on the, oh, behind us. OK, so which are the main changes and main advantages that uh, has this new machine, this new update? 
First of all, uh, it's 60% faster uh, than it was last year. Last year on um, paper and corrugated board, uh, the average speed was 120 square meters an hour. It's 190 now. But the real big thing is for the first time we're showing that we can print on plastics. We have this application wall here where we uh, show the versatility of this machine. It prints on acrylic, it prints on polypropylene and also on, polo, on polycarbonate. Again, this is odorless dust water technology uh, that is used uh, for in-store applications again, but also um, in small uh, lots packaging very high-end, high-quality um, cardboard packaging is also um, a target market for us. We have successful in installations. We are running a field test at the moment that is going well. And two more machines have also uh, been put into the field. Like I said before, there is a spike in demand for water. People are, again, talking a lot about water technology customers are asking us how fast we can transfer their production from UV to water. I've not seen this in a year and now it's all coming back. Um, Barbara, we have here at FESPA over 700 exhibitors. So can you tell us why this, what differentiates DART from all other companies? First of all, um, I would like to highlight independence. We're a family company and we are here to stay a family company. This gives us a lot of independence uh, regarding uh, development. Everything you see here is either enhanced or new technology. So uh, in our both, uh, in our two locations where we produce and where we have research centers, um, we're able to develop things consistently. We started out with the dust water technology on the flatbed side 2015. It was only 60 square meters an hour. Today it's 190. We believe that this is the right thing to do and we have the possibility to pursue what we believe in. And that's quite a value today in a fast changing environment where you don't know who to trust. And Barbara, finally, my, my last question will be, why have you chosen FESPA? Why year, every, uh, why every year do you trust us to, to showcase your new products? It's the worldwide leading show in large format. It gives us a great opportunity um, to host customers from all over the world. We we're always excited to be here because it's the industry leading show and I think we've been a long-standing uh, premium member also. So it's, um, there's a lot of benefit for us in being here. Yeah, I'm sure that you will receive lots of visitors and definitely potential customers for the future. Thank you so much for your time and I really wish you a great show, Barbara. Thank you very much for coming here.